in this communication again i am discussing a recall communication it is come on 2019 uh, talk to a colleague about the causes and treatment of constipations so about treatment of constipations um ircap introducing myself raping uh, making the repo consent agenda will tell attendance and prior knowledge so it's a colleague normal tone everything um and my one is about mother talking to the mother so we will make it like a colleague when an exam center will um, understand that uh, that is colleague medical student like that pattern will change so that is with mother constipation is showing first let me reassure you that his investigation examination are completely normal so why this constipation occur to so draw a picture what happened normally when we need the food go through our gut by this movement flexion and extension of the fingers so we'll uh, by our finger we'll show that in some children this movement is a little bit slower than other children as a result the pool stay for a longer period in the back passage being there for a long time it will lose its water and become really hard and difficult to go to outside leading to the impaction of the back passage area are you with me so what happened normally when we eat the food that is uh, enter into the gut and by reflection extension movement my um, i will show my finger you to go to the back passage area but in some children what happened this flexion extension movement is really slow for that reason the water come out but and the food particles they become hard and uh, this constipation develop so when a new flow came from the above it will go around this hard food to outside and he does not have any control on it sometimes what happened not control occur swelling that is new fluid come and he has no control fluid outside go and the food particle remain so what is the treatment doctor we are discussing the treatment of constipation first of all he should take uh, lifestyle modifications you know first of all he should take diet rich in fluid and fibers and avoid the constipating foods like starchy one he should have regular unhurried toilet uh, time uh, especially after meals with correct toilet positioning lean forward while the feet on the floor so lean forward and while feet is on the floor that is the correct positions and also we should reward him for the good behavior and avoid the negative reaction if he had a swelling am i clear till now yeah, and toilet position in 20 minutes so first of all he had a lifestyle modification you know that uh, fluid and fiber taking food he will take uh, also history this management we can tell that lifestyle modification fluid fiber avoid the starchy one he had regular unhurry toilet he should be properly toilet trained like uh, leaning forward feet is touch the floor 20 minutes um after the meal and for the good behavior we will give him reward for the negative behavior we will not give any punishment okay then next what happened then we have to remove the hard poo from the back passage area first we will try by what we call the oral disinfection using a syrup like to lose or such it's called mobicol for one week if no result or mobicol not tolerated we give something that stimulate the movement of the gut it is and now sodium picosulfate if oral route failed we will give him medicine by his bottom called anemia sodium citrate if anemia is failed we will do manual evacuation after involving the consultant guard doctor and the surgeon am i making myself clear so lifestyle modifications everything toilet training we are giving reward giving after that we are going for the medication first we give oral lactulus syrup uh, like one week we will try if it is not we give the stimulate the um, movement that is picosulfate senna or sodium picosulfate remember if it is not working then next step we are going for the enema enema is on the bottom we will give manual evacuation occur if fail then we will do the manual evacuation and during manual evacuation we will talk with the consultant involved in the gastroenterology surgeon needed surgeon mother is asking is it surgery no but we have give him some sleeping medicine to avoid any discomfort what are the removing this impacted poop uh, what after removing the impacted poop So after removing the impacted poo, that we use the mobicol such as for three to six months till um, he have daily soft poo and had good sensation of opening the bowel. This gradually decreasing the dose of mobicol. Are you with me? So mobicol or lactulose syrup will give three to six months continue. You will take because of the soft and poo will be make him feeling good passing the poo. That is, doctor, what happen if this constipation not treated? If we not treated, what happen? Unfortunately, it causes tummy pain, blood. passing and during pain during poo infection in the pee and headache so tummy pain causes infection in the pee causes then uh, constipation blood passing with the constipation uh, infection of the pee headache these are occur so doctor how did you know that it is functional not serious matter so always we give some 
um, warning sign on red flags. Like I want to reassure you that as there are no warning symptoms like not growing well, passing of blood, severe tummy pain, throwing up, soreness in the back passage, and history of any abuse. If any of this noted, you should seek medical advice. So what are the red flags we tell that the child is not growing well, failure to thrive? Number one, severe tummy pain, soreness in the back passage area, any chance of abuse or history of abuse, passage of blood, throwing up. Uh, these are the red flag, and if it's noted, then seek the medical advice. Then we give the summary leaflet, trusted website, support group. Uh, these are so another constipation is like that. Eight okay, three year, three year old with long history of painful defecation. Mother is worried, please talk to her. Normally, how frequent this um, child pass poo per day? It is not related to how frequent she opens the her bowel. Most people will pass poo three times per day two, three times a week. Uh, this is what is called normal. And we can call it a constipation if there is a change into the habit she used to. So if she became less frequent than her habits, we can consider it constipation. So if less habit, normally what happens, um, pass poo three times per day, three times a week. But if less from his normal habit, then that is what we consider as a constipation. What could be the cause of constipation, doctor? So many factors like not taking sufficient fibers, not drinking enough water, lack of exercise, less active lifestyle, and most important for kids is they ignoring the urge to pass poo, especially when they're playing. Also, there are some medication causing constipation. So lack of fiber, not drinking um, water, lack of exercise, less active lifestyle, and then some children ignore the urge of um, going toilet, and some um, medicine also causes constipation. What are complications of constipation? We know that long-term constipation can cause tummy cramps, piles, overflow, and infection in the pee system. What is the management, doctor? First of all, we need to increase the fiber content in diet, increase the water intake per day, and uh, well toilet training. What uh, is toilet training? Remember toilet training video. If you, um, you will ask uh, your baby before breakfast to go to the toilet. Go to toilet for three to five minutes, no more in every time. Ask child to, not to strain. Just lean forward, putting his elbow in his knee and support her feet. So putting his elbow in her knee, support her mm, feet. That is the positions of constipation. So this is all about constipation communications. Thank you very much, everyone.